Thank you very much for being here today. Um, thank you for your interest in, in uh, being here and learning how we can all work together to make this year's 4th of July celebration a safe one. And uh, we're here to welcome, uh, we're here be on behalf of Prevent Blindness Ohio, as well as the Ohio Eye Care Coalition. And the Ohio Eye Care Coalition, say that three times, uh, was founded in 1997, and it's a volunteer partnership of nonprofit organizations that all care about eye health and eye safety. Members of this coalition include the Ohio Ophthalmological Society, the Ohio Optometric Association, Opticians Association of Ohio, the Ohio Department of Health, and Prevent Blindness Ohio. The uh, coalition was also formed in by a, uh, also formed another volunteer group, the Ohio Fireworks Safety Coalition in 1997. And I would like to recognize members of the coalition and the Fireworks Safety Coalition members who are here today. Uh, Mark Bennett of the Opticians Association. Mark, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for your, your work and the association's work. Zelda Weaver, Searles, and Sora Norman of the Ohio Department of Health. Uh, if, she, if they're here, thank you very much for being here. And Lindsay Pullen of the Ohio State Medical Association, thanks so much for your help in working uh, so closely with everyone with regard to eye safety. I would also like to recognize any of the Prevent Blindness Ohio board members that are here. I'm one of them. Any other uh, folks that uh, have attended and special guests that need to be recognized. Rick Hoffman is here from the Prevent Blindness Association. Rick, thanks so much. Uh, and as I said, I'm here as well as um, uh, you You have met Miss Williams. If you're not, you will be meeting her. I want to thank Essilor of America and American Electric Power for their partnership and uh, for their support of the fireworks safety. I would also like to recognize the representatives uh, who are here in attendance today from there. Cindy McNeil and Hillary Welsh of Essilor of America. Cindy, thank you, thank you very much, and thank you so much for your support. And we'd also like to thank Rick Hoffman uh, of American Electric Power. We have several presenters here today and who will talk about the various aspects of fireworks safety. And uh, then we will open, uh, open this up for questions and um, any uh, humorous remarks that might be made from the audience. Uh, considering who the audience is. Now I would like to, like to introduce uh, State Fire Marshal Larry Flowers uh, for in -depth, more in-depth conversation. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Betty. Um, it's good to be surrounded by friends, uh, in some cases old friends. Uh, Dr. Geary and I former go back a few years, and <laughs> or maybe now former friends, friends, but, but uh, a little different um, uh, venue here. We've typically for many years done this in the atrium of the State House. And uh, we thought on a beautiful summer day it would be best maybe to come out here and give it to folks to see what we also do out here at the uh, State Fire Marshal's Office and the Ohio Fire Academy. Um, we want to. We, the first thing we want to have we want we have a, a demonstration for you. Um, uh, Ray Ladrick from our lab is going to uh, is going to come up here. For those of you that have the cameras that want to focus in on this, we want to demonstrate um, the dangers of, of, of a sparkler. You know, even the the novelty uh, items such as the sparklers and the snakes and the and, and, and the snaps uh, are, st are can still cause injuries and cause burns. And uh, so Ray is going to come up and um, probably up in this area, and then maybe you can look away from the sun. And uh, we we put a thermocouple on a uh, on a on a sparkler, and uh, that thermocouple will read the temperature on that sparkler. Um, most most uh, tests that have been used on sparklers will indicate that uh, in excess of 1,500 degrees uh, that these sparklers will burn at. Um, and specifically, it's on a piece of wire. So we, we heat up a piece of wire. It's obviously sharp uh, on the end. And, um, and a lot of well, these are not wire. These are, these are bamboo. They're, they're a little bit newer. They don't burn um, your fingers as much as the wires one. Most likely to poke yourself. Very good. I, I learned something today. I think the smaller ones, though, if I'm not mistaken, are still the wire. The, the, the smaller ones are still the wire ones. So, um, but uh, so Ray's going to wrap the thermocouple on the on the sparkler, and uh, we're going to read the temperature on that. 